Bodhi again, back for my third vlog uh, for week 10 in INM333, uh, concerning, the concerning gamification. Uh, I decided to go with the topic of the role in gaming in libraries and info organisations and do I see a place for it. Uh, short answer is I see places for gaming everywhere. Um, I'm a gamer from way back. I've got a little visual here. This is probably not, this is tangential at best, and I know that you love my horribly presented lists, but this is a bit of a an example of some of the games that I've played going, there's mostly video games in there, but uh, athletics, paintball, laser tag, even choose your own adventure. I see as a gamified book, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I pretty much run the whole gamut of gaming from, uh, from when I was a young age. I'm also a student from way back, I've had a long academic life, I've, I've been through clearly undergraduate and 12 years of school before that. And now I'm doing postgraduate. Uh, I've, I, a lot of my time, even when I was working, was taken up with my own study. I love learning, uh, and I love gaming. And as a gamer, I can see how gaming improves learning. And I think that as a place where people pursue their own learning in the library, uh, they should be embracing it. I, I definitely absolutely think that there's a there's a place for it in there but I have two thoughts on this uh, two main ones that I'll get through quickly I think that we need to embrace stuff like gamification uh, a lot of thought that I've read lately in the literature seems to be about how slowly libraries and information organizations are they're slow to, to take things on uh, from social media, uh, cataloging and metadata evolutions. A lot of, everyone seems to sort of be going, oh, libraries are dropping the ball, libraries can't keep up, libraries uh, have this outdated mindset. I will link a couple of readings in the description to this blog. Uh, I think one of them will actually be from week two or three about Twitter in this very course, and there'll be another one from another course that I'm doing talking about how RDA, a metadata standard, has basically completely failed to keep up with what it was meant to do. I really think that we need to just jump in uh, with both feet and get on board with these things and need our reluctance to take on new technologies and things needs to stop the users are outpacing us at least that's the feeling I get from the literature and I think that if we just jump in and had some fun which is what gamification lends itself to we cast off this sort of mantle of lethargy that that seems to pervade the literature at the very least Having said that, my second thought is that we shouldn't just be doing it willy-nilly. A lot of the readings this week were about how it needs to be done right and you can't just gamify anything badly and still expect users to do it. There's a very fine sort of art to it, it seems. You've got to be able to get them to partake in the game but not overtly you can't just shoehorn them into playing it doesn't work like that i think in this realm game design and game designers definitely have their place i, I mean if i was going to make a, a broad sweeping statement i would say that every library should have at least one game designer on hand to sort of help them out in this way because gamification seems to rely on that immersion and that sort of blurring of the line between reality and, and the game world, the fantasy, in that they're learning real world stuff, but in, in 
a way that's not really real world, I guess you could say. I think that uh, need it really does need to be done properly. If a library has a badly written blog, they can mess with the formatting and tune that up. Gamification is a lot harder to get one's head around as far as the formatting and things. It, it, there's a there's a, a lot more subtleties there, I feel. So anyway, that's, yeah, we should be doing it, but we should only be doing it when it's appropriate. We should be doing it as often as we can, but we should only be doing it when we can do it well, if that makes any sense at all. Anyway, uh, that's my thoughts for that for another week. Uh, I'll probably have another one of these up this week for this week's actual topic. So thanks a lot. Bye.